buddies welcome back it's your Lee royal today i'll be unboxing the hp vh 248 monitor a quick rundown of some of the specifications it has a 23.8 inch display which is basically 24 inches ips technology therefore you're gonna have better color than your typical tn panel 1920 by 1080p resolution which is full hd that is great quality five millisecond response time and a refresh rate of 60 hertz one HDMI, one VGA, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and it has built-in speakers. I picked it up from Amazon for about $130. It was a great deal in my opinion because it's 24 inches IPS technology and full HD. Those are some great specs for $130. Typically, your IPS panels are more expensive than a TN panel. The um, users are basically your photographers, your videographers, your graphic designers, Pretty much those who need more in-depth color. I'll be unboxing this and setting it up in a time lapse so you won't have to sit through a bunch of nonsense. So I'm pretty geeked to get this thing open. Let's get right into it. Here's everything that came with the monitor. We have the base of the stand, auxiliary cord, power adapter, HDMI cable, the stand, and the monitor itself. Now buddies, follow me. Here's my issue. This monitor only has three inputs. That's right, three. HDMI, VGA, and auxiliary. But yet, we only receive two, the HDMI and auxiliary. This is not a monitor with six inputs. It only has three why not give the consumer all three i understand vga is becoming an out of date technology but still there are still some machines that have only vga so why not include it i personally don't like when i receive technology and it doesn't come with every single input but that's just my opinion you may feel a different way but anyways we're going to set this monitor up so we're back at it the stand is really, really, really easy to put together. The difficulty level is on zero. All you have to do is attach the base and the stand and that's basically it. At the bottom of the base, there's a screw with the hook so you don't need any tools. Just grab that hook and twist it. As, just twist it until you can't twist anymore to give it that security. The monitor itself has, about, has like what, three clamps or three hooks and you can just clamp the monitor and stand together and everything will be set up. If you wanna detach, there's a, a push down button that allows for an easy, simple detachment. Here we are about to give you the screen reveal itself. Voila. <laughs> it wasn't as smooth as I thought it was gonna be. Sheesh, this is a nice monitor and I can't even lie about that. The best part are the thin bezels. Your bezels are the outer frame of the monitor. So if you want a multi-monitor setup, your best bet is to have a monitor with thin bezels to get that consistent flow from screen to screen, whether if you want to duplicate or extend your screen. On the back, we have the built-in speakers, but back to these beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, thin bezels. Nothing looks better than some nice thin bezels, especially for a multi-monitor setup. You always want that consistency from screen to screen, not like in an office building where you have some thick bezels. Now, on the back, we have the auxiliary, the VGA, and the HDMI. To the bottom right of the monitor, we have four menu buttons and the power button. In a second, I'm going to give you a demonstration of all the pivot, the tilt, and height adjustments. 
This monitor does not tilt side to side, but it's so mobile and easy to use, you can easily just physically move it. Now to the pivot, your pivot is basically switching your monitor to go into a vertical position. Your photographers, your designers, they use this to get a better, longer view of a particular picture and your coders who wants to look at a long line of code. Now, you can also mount this monitor. It has four screws on the back, so if you have an arm, a arm mount or some type of wall mount, you can easily do that. That's all our time to the next time, buddies. I appreciate you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, leave some feedback in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Be easy.